welcome to your mathematics class chapter 3 exercise 3.1 problem number 4 the table given below contains some measures of the triangle find the unknown values subdivision 1 side 1 6 cm side 2 5 cm side 3 2 cm and perimeter we have to find okay subdivision 2 side 1 we have to find side 2 8 meter side 3 3 meter and perimeter 17 meter subdivision 3 side 1 11 feet side 2 we have to find side 3 9 feet and perimeter 28 feet okay now let us move on to the solution children subdivision 1 solution given side 1 is equal to 6 cm side 2 is equal to 5 cm side 3 is equal to 2 cm to find perimeter we have to find the perimeter okay now perimeter of the triangle is equal to a plus b plus c units okay here side 1 represents a side 2 represents b and side 3 represents c so you can write perimeter is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 units okay now let us substitute concern values now perimeter is equal to 6 plus 5 plus 2 cm which is equal to 13 cm okay therefore perimeter is equal to 13 cm now subdivision 2 solution given side 2 is equal to 8 meter side 3 is equal to 3 meter and perimeter equal to 17 meter okay to find we have to find the side 1 okay now perimeter of the triangle is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 units so what is the perimeter value given in the question 17 So seventeen is equal to side one. We d we don't know. We have to find the value of side one. So let us write as it is side one plus side two is eight and side three is three. Okay. Now seventeen is equal to side one plus add eight plus three eleven. Now bring the eleven to left hand side. This side you can just change it. So when it come this side, the plus sign get changes into minus. So seventeen minus eleven is equal to side one. So seventeen minus eleven is six. So six meter is equal to side one. Therefore, side one is equal to six meter. Okay. Now, subdivision three. Solution given. Side one is equal to eleven feet. Side three is equal to nine feet. perimeter is equal to 28 feet okay to find side 2 perimeter of the triangle is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 units so 28 is equal to 11 plus side 2 plus 9 now 28 equal to add 11 plus 9 20 plus side 2 now next step 28 Minus twenty is equal to side two. Now just subtract twenty-eight minus twenty. So eight feet is equal to side two. So therefore side two is equal to eight feet. Okay. Now problem number five. Fill in the blanks. Subdivision one. Five centimeter square is equal to dash millimeter square. Okay. Solution. One centimeter square is equal to hundred millimeter square. This you know, okay? So one centimeter square is equal to hundred millimeter square. So therefore, five centimeter square is equal to five into hundred, which is equal to five hundred millimeter square. Okay? So therefore, five centimeter square is equal to Five hundred millimeter square. Subdivision two. Twenty-six meter square is equal to dash centimeter square. Solution. 
1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. Okay, 1 meter square is equal to what? 10,000 centimeter square. So, 26 meter square is equal to 26 into 10,000. So, you will be getting 2,60,000 centimeter square. Okay, so therefore, 26 meter square is equal to 2,60,000 centimeter square. Okay, now subdivision 3. 8 kilometer square is equal to dash meter square. Solution 1 kilometer square is equal to 10 lakhs meter square. Okay, so 8 kilometer square is equal to multiply 8 into 10 lakhs. So you will be getting 80 lakhs meter square. Okay, so therefore 8 kilometer square is equal to 80 lakhs meter square. Okay. Now let us move on to next problem. Problem number 6. Find the perimeter and area of the following shapes. Okay. You have to find the perimeter and also area of the following shapes. Subdivision 1. Okay. They are given this shape. Now you have to find the perimeter. Solution. Perimeter is equal to total length of the boundary units or else you can write sum of all the sides that is the outer side. Boundary is nothing but what? Outer side. So you have to add all the boundaries that is the total length of the boundary. Okay. Let us count how many are there. So 1 that is the side 1. Here square in the square it is given the side 4 centimeter. Square what? All the 4 sides are equal okay so all the four sides will be getting four centimeter only so first side this is your second side then three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so totally twelve sides okay so what is the side length measurement four centimeter so you can write twelve into four or else you just add 4 12 times that is 4 plus 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 4 centimeter okay so your answer is 48 centimeter okay now we have to find the area okay what is the shape now square? So area of the square is equal to side into side square units. Okay. So given side is equal to what is given? 4 centimeter. So now here in the diagram children you can observe how many squares are there. So inside you have to draw another square you can draw. Okay. So area equal to just you draw inside one more square. So, let us count the square. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So, totally 5 squares are there. So, area is equal to area of 5 square we have to find. Okay. So, 5 into area of a square. So, 5 into what is the area of a square formula? Side into side square units. So, 5 into side is how much 4 centimeters so 5 into 4 into 4 so which is equal to 5 into 16 which is equal to 80 centimeter square okay when you are finding area you have to write the units in square units okay now let us move on to second subdivision this is the diagram okay now let us find first perimeter so, perimeter, what is the formula? Total length of the boundary. Okay. So, you have 4 centimeter, 4 plus, 5 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, 4 plus, 5. Okay. Totally, you have 4 triangles and the outer thing is 5 they are given. That is the slant height and the height is 4. So, you have to add. The answer is 36 centimeter. So, now the perimeter is equal to 36 centimeter. Now, next we have to find the area. 
So A, you have two shapes in this diagram. One is the square and the other one is the triangle. Okay. Now, area of the square is equal to side into side square units. Area of the triangle is equal to 1 by 2 into base into height square units. Here, we have two shapes. So, we have to apply two formulas. One is the area of the square and the other one is the area of the triangle. Okay. Now, given side is equal to 3 centimeter. Okay. So, base is equal to for the triangle. The base is now 3 centimeter and the height is now 4 centimeter. Okay. Now, let us observe the diagram. So, let us see how many triangles are there in the diagram. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. There are 4 triangles are there. So, area of 4 triangles is equal to 4 into 1 by 2 into base into height square units. The base and height you can write as B into H in short. Okay. So, the next step 4 into 1 divided by 2 into what is the base? 3 and what is the height? 4. Okay. So, you can cancel now 2 and 4 that is in 2 table. 1, 2 is a 2. And 2 twos are 4. Okay. Now let us multiply. 4 into 3 into 2. 4 threes are 12. 12 twos are 24 centimeters square. Okay. Now the area of 4 triangle is 24 centimeters square. Now you have to find the area of a square. How many squares are there? Yes. Very good children. Only one square. So area of the square is equal to. Only one square. So, area of the square is equal to side into side square units. That's a formula for the square. Okay. What is the side now value? 3 centimeter. So, 3 into 3 which is equal to 9 centimeter square. Okay. Now, in the question they ask you to find the total area. So, we found separately area of 4 triangle and area of the square. Now, let us find the total area. Total area is equal to area of 4 triangles plus area of the square which is equal to 24 centimeter square plus 9 centimeter square which is equal to 33 centimeter square. Okay. So, the total area value is now 33 centimeter square. Okay. Now, let us move on to subdivision 3. <coughs> Children. Just observe this uh, diagram that is observe the shape. Uh, the square shape is there and one rectangle and one triangle shape is there. Okay. And you, they are, you, you just observe. You have to find the first perimeter. To find the perimeter you will be adding all the sum of all the sides. That is the total length of the boundary. So, but one side the value is not there. That is in the rectangle shape you observe children. The uh, down that 50 centimeter is given for the length. Okay. Just the opposite the value is not given. We have to find. How will you find in rectangle what opposite sides are equal. So, here 50 means there are also 50. But you just observe the square shape is present on top of the rectangle. In square all the four sides are equal. So, it means what the base is now that is the side is now 10 centimeter. So, let us subtract 50 minus 10 which is equal to 40 centimeter. Okay. Now, that uh, side value is now 40 centimeter. Okay. Now, let us move on to the solution children. Solution. Perimeter is equal to total length of the boundary. That is 15 plus 50 plus 12 plus 13 plus 10 plus 10 plus 40. 40 that 40 which we found now only okay now that is equal to 150 centimeter okay now <clears throat> you have three shapes in the diagram what are the shapes now you have square rectangle and triangle so area of the square is equal to side into side square units area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth square units Area of the triangle is equal to 
half into that is 1 by 2 into base into height square units okay by using this three formula we are going to do the sum okay now let us move on to the problem children given in square the side is equal to 10 centimeter and in rectangle length is equal to 50 centimeter breadth is equal to 5 centimeter and for triangle base equal to 12 centimeter and height is equal to 5 centimeter <coughs> now observe this diagram children now first we are going to find the area of the square okay area of the square is equal to side into side square units what is the side value 10 centimeter so 10 into 10 which is equal to 100 centimeter square okay now next let us move to find the rectangle so area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth square units which is equal to 50 into 5 which is equal to 250 centimeter square okay now next <coughs> area of the triangle is equal to 1 by 2 into base into height square units so which is equal to 1 by 2 into 12 into 5 okay the base is 12 and the height is 5 now let us cancel in two table 2 and 12 1 2 are 2 and 2 6 2 are 12 okay 1 2 are 2 and 6 2 are 12 now multiply 6 into 5 30 centimeter square okay now we found area of the square area of the rectangle and area of the triangle okay now we have to find the total area <coughs> So, total area is equal to area of the square plus area of the rectangle plus area of the triangle which is equal to 100 plus 250 plus 30 centimeter square. So, which is equal to 380 centimeter square. So, therefore, the total area is equal to 380 centimeter square. Okay. So, today's session is over children. Let us continue the balance problem in next session. Thank you children.